Welcome back, folks, to more Canem. We're at Terence Library. Yes, how do you do? Hi! I look for a book! What would you do with a book? You can't read. Huh? This is what I can do for you. Give me 6,000 coin needed for a membership, and I'll let you look at all the books we have. Here you go! Oh, my. Where did... You'd locate such an immense sum of money. Well, I suppose a deal's a deal. You can go look at the books, but be very careful and don't tell them. Need to find book with spooky dog elves. You must tell me more about the book or I'll be unable to find it. Tang Sing, Oz and dog elves. Obviously frustrated. This is impossible. I'll go try to find you a book with dog elves in it. She fumbles through a stack of books in a cabinet. Here, this book has dog elves. Sing Yang. Horror among the dark elves. Take it and go away. Ah, me happy. All right, so I've decided to not read books with Lug Lug anymore. Uh, one, because he can't read, and two, because I'm tired of reading books twice. Very short one-page literatures like notes I'll probably read, uh, but books, no. This is the Curse of Sang An by Kendrick Wales. And basically, you learn that you need to travel to Kaladon. So if you go to your quest... You'll see... The Curse of T. Zing An! Be about strange stuff about Renford Turwillinger and his book, Horror Among Dark Elses. It also say only guy that be alive own book is Victor Mix and he be living in Kaldun. But before we travel off to Kaldun, Kaladon, we're going to return to Kuntara. You been to madams? Oh yeah. I do not know what this city would do without that fine establishment. Me too. You can have my sloppy seconds. <laughs> Surprise you not fall in vagina after Lug Lug been in there. Alright, let's make the trek back.
I'm not too smart. Well, she's already back from Tarant. But now she's got a different deposition against me. She's courteous. Ah, yes. You again. How can I help you? If you must. Ah, yes. You again. How can I help you? Well, of course I don't have the intelligence to fucking say what I need to. Ah, yes. You again. Certainly. Alright, well, apparently that doesn't matter. Ah, yes. You, if you must. Got the book horror among the dark elves. What is it that you want of me? I don't think she'll uh this part of the quest can be finished by Lug Lug just because of his intelligence once again. July, you fucking retards. Golden Bear. Interesting. I'm gonna check out this small key. Like the small camp got uh, fucked up. You won't be needing that. That's about it. Sorry, have we met before? I've never seen your kind. I know you, Betrayer. I know all your faces, Warblood. All the same, all liars and murderers, all bringers of death. Listen, perhaps you should tell me what's going on here. 
You know all blood bits lined with teeth and metal nets catch with your weapons a flash of pain. You hunt while the children of old, and Count Korea is no such easy target. Face me, warm blood. What does this all have to do with the elf being held here? You mean Sharpeard? Pale warm blood? We capture him sneaking into our swamps, planning more death with his weapons and strange ways. But Can Corral fell upon him, and my ways were greater than his. I brought him back here, tied him like fruit to the hunt. Have you ever had any problems with pale warm bloods before? He stops for a moment, considering, No, sharp ears have not killed Beto King before, nor have they ruined the land. But we are not easy prey, warm blood. A hunter is different skin, still a hunter, and Camp Carey goes quietly. Hold a moment. Neither the elves nor I have done you harm. Yes, the words you speak are true, warm blood, but that does not mean you are not. Sharpier, did he attack you? No, but they come to dark fins with weapons, powerful words. Why have they come here? They have their trees, their forest. Why do they come to our swamps? The elves? They are brought ruin. He stopped for a moment. Hold a moment. Neither elves nor I have done you harm. I am called Luglug. And I am Ken Karee, chieftain of Bendokin. What brings you to our village? I believe you are pri imprisoning him wrongly. What do you know of their ways? You assume elves are innocent and Bedokin are evil? Forgive me, I meant no offense. You can pay price demanded by Snake Fathers, Luglug. If a warm blood was to kill those responsible, then I would not have to wage war against them all. The cold blood ways will allow this retribution. If you kill these poachers, I will free elf and turn the ways of war. Will you do this? Yes, I will do so. You will? Good. Here is where men last see. Alright. So now what I have to do is I need to reload and get that all done in one potion. Hello, hey mate. Strange place to be out walking. You mind telling me what you're doing out here? No, me lug lug. We tell you fuck off. <laughs> you die, evil poacher! There's an elephant gun right there. Luglug would be getting that chest open, don't what you worry. What is it that you wanted? Acts of unbreakableness. Get off my gold, son. See that? 
See what that little sneaky bastard tried to do? Try to gank my gold. What is it that you... Ah, damn, this is fucking annoying. I've killed the poachers, Ken Curry. You have good rats. Warm blood heart is not evil. Perhaps it does know what is right and what is wrong. I'm glad, Ken Curry. The men I killed deserve it. Yes, I agree. Perhaps you might dream the reptilian dream one day, Ludlum. I wish you luck in your travels. So he's going back to Quintana. Hopefully I don't need to have a fucking intelligence potion to collect on my quest. And it looks like I can't turn in the quest. Luckily these guys have, uh, wait a minute, Ring of Dark Magic plus one intelligence. It's cursed, but it has plus one intelligence. might be the item that I need, folks. Oh, man, this will be awesome if I can just use this as a infinite potion of intellect. I found the lost elven hunter. Yes, he returned here and told me of what happened with the Burdokin. He owes the Katara and a debt to you, friend. Please, take the armor. I promised you in payment for your brave actions. Goodbye and good luck to you. I must go. Good day. Ah, finally, folks. Finally, I have a plus one intelligent ring. No more needless hunts for the fucking potion of intelligence. I can freely switch between dumb lug lug, which this... LP is intended for, and Smart Lug Lug. All the Dark Magic Ring does is gives me minus 50% to the protections. Uh, and I'm only going to use it for quest dialogue options anyways. Some Elven Chain Mail. What is it that you want? I can only assume... A Dragon Skin you like better, huh? AC 9, Durability 16... Are you fucking stupid? Fire resistance? Yeah, of course. I'm gonna make him wear the Elven Chain Mail. I don't think the NPCs are too smart. I mean, the electrical resistance is plus 10. Yeah, 
Maybe the MP's a little lower. Magic power available is 60. Yeah, plus it's got a little bit better durability. Means we might be able to get these other quests going. Also, I can take my time reading and dialogue now and not having to worry about the fucking potion wearing out and Lug Lug going from, Hello, good day, sir, to Dad! <laughs> Madeline, as always, can't you just leave me alone, half-breed? I beg your pardon for disturbing you, sir. No, it is... I that should be asking your pardon. Personal feelings should not be so plainly on display, especially from one of my training. What do you mean, your training? What is a dwarf doing here? I am a mage. This is my home. How did a dwarf become a mage in Quintal, of all places? I have been drawn toward magic for my entire life. Unlike most dwarves, I had no affinity for things of the technological nature. So that's why you live here? I am under a tutorial agreement to my teacher, Wrath. I am unable to leave until my contract is finished. You sound as if you want to leave now. I cannot take living with these elves. I thought my magical bent would make me akin to them somehow, but it is not the case. I need to find release from my servitude before I go mad. What exactly is the term of your contract? My contract runs out until the end of Rath's life. In exchange for training in the magical arts, I agreed to serve him, but the bitter old elf can last another two, possibly three hundred years. Why did you agree to such an interminable length of service? No elf wanted to take a dwarf as an apprentice. It was the best offer I could get. It wasn't bad at first, when Wrath was simply surly. Over the past fifty years or so, he's become increasingly bitter and difficult to work for. I do not know that I will do it if I can't convince him to release me soon. Why don't you just leave? I would never dishonor myself so. The only thing that can release me besides his death is his word. Perhaps I could convince him to release you. Thank you for the offer, but your interference will only serve to anger him, which would lead to greater torment for myself at this hands. If you're certain, I suppose I'll be on my way then. Why aren't you all so stubborn? Though you tried to test my patience, my discipline is such that I will not give in to more violent urges. Consider yourself lucky. Please leave my house. I don't know. Maybe we can talk to Mr. Wrath here. Uh-oh. Mr. Wrath is already dead with an empty wine glass on him. You see the dead body of Wrath, Ormond's mentor. There seems to be no sign of violence or struggle. What business do you have here? Ormond's under arrest for murder. Murder? Who is he meant to have killed? He killed Wrath, his mentor. Ormond's dislike for Wrath is well known in Kintara as well as his wish to be released from his contract. That doesn't prove he killed him. Who else could have done it? Tells us like us don't kill each other. Besides yourself, he was the only other outside in Kintar when the murder occurred. Elves like us? Are there other types of elves? Uh, no, there are not. You must have misunderstood my meaning. How he was killed, if you don't mind my asking. We haven't determined that as of yet at this point. We'll know when we can find no evidence of any injuries from Wilton. What about the magic? Quench life could have done this trick. No. We are Quintara acutely attuned to the flows. If any dark necromancy had been used, we would have felt it. This is all very interesting. May I go in and speak with him? Sure, go on in, but don't try anything. I'll be listening out here. You returned. I do not believe you are guilty of killing Wrath. Why do you say that? I just don't think you would kill someone in cold blood. I appreciate your confidence in me. It is a pity no one else here shares your view. I need to get more information if I am hoping to free myself from this predicament. Do you know of anything that may be of help? The gods said he wasn't killed with magic or weapon. Is there any evidence? Just this glass. There's a strange odor to it. 
He holds the glass up to his face and sniffs it. This is poison. Hmm. There's only one apothecary shop in Quintera. The poison was brought here. He'd been the one to sell it. I need to speak with him somehow. Since I am confined in my house, I need someone to help clear my name. Are you interested in helping me out? Sure, I'll give it a go. I will give you my prized staff of Zoran for your help, good sir. I accept your offer. Oh, I love my ring of plus one intelligence. Yes, I do. It is true. I'm gonna go handle that shit though. <laughs> this is, of course, the apothecary's shop, and here is the vial that still traces of the poison it once contained. Apothecary definitely knows something of what's going on here. Guilty! Guilty, Lug Lug says. Here's the proof you will need to convict Sharp. He looks at the empty poison vial. This is not possible. Elves don't kill each other. It just doesn't happen. I should have known with them living in the same house, acting as if they were married. What do you mean? A village is our family. Romantic love may be something some of us play at when we're young, but no self-respecting adult shuts himself apart from the community. That way, it disrupts the communal flow. Obviously, Sharp was bent on ruining the social order. I knew something like this would happen eventually. Those freaks trying to ruin Quintara with their marriage. It all makes sense now. I'm assuming you'll be releasing Jordan. Of course, he is free to go. I'll be sending some men around to arrest that anarchist as well. I must be off. Thank you for clearing my name. You're welcome. Here's the staff I promised you. You're always welcome in my home. Aren't you going to leave now that Wrath is dead? I am sure that I'll take my leave of this place soon enough. First, I must decide where I'm off to. Why don't you adventure with me? You have one too many with you. If you lose one, look me up. All right. We can get Jorman to join us. He'll actually join us. I have to keep that in mind for when I get my dexterity back up. For now, I'm taking off my smart, smart ring, putting back on my dumb, dumb helmet. We are at maximum alignment 100. Good. Lug Lug is level 43. He's an apprentice haggler. Master Dodger. Master of Melee. 157 hit points. 149 fatigue. 15 will. 24 strength. 20 constitution. 20 dex. He's a little prettier than when he started the adventure. People are starting to like Lug Lug. And so am I, now that I have got this ring. This cursed ring is actually a blessing. Isn't that ironic? Stay tuned for episodes 20 to number 30 of Ronstock. We better give him some time here or he'll get mad and blast me with a fireball up the asshole. Thanks for watching.